I don't know about you guys, but have you ever been driving in your Jeep and you look down at your center console and you think, holy crap, it, there's just so much junk and garbage in there. You don't even know what to do with it all. So I have to say more often than not, this is kind of what this whole thing looks like, especially like the other day, we were taking the kids to some sports. We had my wife, the kids in the car. So, you know, we each had like coffee cups. There was just kind of stuff even more so than this everywhere, right? My phone, my wife's phone, all this crap. So I wanted to figure out a way to uh, help get this a little bit more organized, especially, you know, we're doing tons of sports and different activities all through the week with the kids. And I want to keep this looking a little nicer and a little bit easier to use. So I ended up getting to searching online. And I found a couple products from a company called Diamuki. And we've actually installed some products from Diamuki before into my wife's Jeep for organization. So I went ahead and uh, those products work great. So I went ahead and tried those guys again for these two things. Now what we're going to be trying to install today is their car phone holder and the car cup holder. So again, I'm thinking that if I have an extra cup holder that's going to be over on the left side, left side of the steering wheel, that's going to help me out and help, you know, help keep everything clutter free in the center. And then this is going to be the phone holder. So my phone usually always just sits kind of where those cup holders are down at that center council area. And I, I'm constantly having to, you know, pick it up if I need to look at it or do whatever. So this will mount uh, somewhere, I think it mounts like right into this top dash panel. So we actually remove this piece, we'll bolt it in so it'll be hard bolted, and then we'll be able to have a spot for our phone. I think these are going to be pretty awesome, so we're going to work on getting these installed. And again, I'll have the link for these in the description down below, so definitely check it out. All right, so I guess we're going to try the phone holder first. So let's see, we got some inserts that look like OEM, we got some hardware. Part of a mount, a whole bunch of other pieces. Wow, nicely uh, packaged, I would say. Ooh, boy, look at that carbon fiber, dude. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, like it. I like it. Some more pieces. All right, and the most important, we've got some instructions. So it looks like these guys also extended lifetime warranty. Cool. Register for that. All right, so we're going to have a gander at the instructions, and then let's get to work. All right, so I don't know how well you guys can see here, but basically the instructions say we need to first get this whole mat out here which this just pops right out of here. There's no bolts, no nothing. And then we should have some screws. Oh, it's kind of hard to get in there and see. Okay, got it. So there's actually, I don't know, maybe an eight millimeter, but it's also, uh, you could also just use a screwdriver, which they actually include in the kit. So that's kind of cool. So I'll just take your little screwdriver Let's hope, yep, they're not very tight. And we're just gonna pop this whole thing out here. Or sorry, we're not gonna pop the whole thing out. We're just gonna pop out just this left side screw. I think we can leave the right one. And then next we take this little custom bracket that they've made. So this is a, a real nice piece of aluminum. Looks like it's powder coated aluminum. And so we just take that, that sits in there nicely. And we go ahead and put back the screw. Cool, so that's in there perfect. And then this actually sits flush on here like perfectly as well. All right guys, the next step here is now that we have this all installed, we're gonna take uh, this little, I don't know what you call this thing, this thing plus this screw, and we're gonna install that down into this metal base. And then this thing, whole thing will go right in here. And we even just use the other side of that same tool, the same Phillips head uh, tool that we just used. So it makes it really, really, really easy. We don't even have to go into the toolbox, which is freaking sweet. All right, next step, we take this little piece here, which is kind of our connector that's gonna help hold this all in place. And we take the screws that are provided. They also gave us a little Allen key. So we should just be able to get that guy in there and start, get it started on one side, get it started on the next side. Tighten our own home. 
Looks like it even has some Loctite on the end of the bolt, so that's pretty cool too. Now, all this stuff in here, I mean, it's all just plastic, right? Your whole dash. So I wouldn't go gangbusters on this thing. You know, we don't want to like deform the plastic or anything like that, but just get it kind of cinched down. And then of course we can always tighten it later on if we need to, but that should be plenty fine. Look at how, I mean, that's definitely very stable. All right, so it looks like next step is we're going to take this little arm and just loosen her on up. And basically we're going to connect that down on that side and also connect it to this with these little silver pins sticking upwards. And just kind of get that guy clamped in place. So probably something more like this. So, yeah, so it's out of your way, not blocking your vision. Then look, check it out. Just pop that. And that holds your phone. I mean, that's, that's freaking secure, baby. So that's pretty cool. And it's fully adjustable, you know, if you wanted to even have it face your passenger, right? So your passenger can see whatever, freaking have them watch a movie, right? <laughs> whatever you want to do. So that's pretty awesome. That's a nice mount. Man, this even, even for me, this will be great for um, recording. You know, I can even be driving and have recording. So usually in the past, I've used like little suction cup uh, things here, but this will actually be a lot nicer. All right, last piece of the puzzle is then we're going to take our little new uh, replacement piece and we just stick that bad boy up on in there. Something like that. Well, actually, I might need to go with something like this. Yep, there we go. Cool. Now we're all set. So, and the cool part, you know, this is still obviously all functional, so I can still put, I like to put my sunglasses and stuff up here. And actually the cool thing is this whole mount might actually keep the sunglasses. Sometimes they slide this way out of here. So hopefully that'll help keep those in there a little bit better. Well, I'm back in the rig here. I just kind of want to show you guys what I'm seeing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's sweet. You, you know, it's right there if you needed to touch something. I mean, obviously, listen, guys, we want to be safe out there. We don't want to be messing with our phones while we're driving. But it's certainly nice. It's now keeping it out of this area, which this is prime real estate. You know, I just want to be able to have a drink or whatever. I mean, or if I don't even have a drink, to hold all my gum and all my other crap that's always seems to be down here, right? So we've got this installed. The next thing we're going to do is the cup holder, which the cup holder mounts somehow over in this area is my understanding. So that way it'll be kind of awesome. I've got, you know, be able to have my drink right here, have my phone there and help keep all this clutter free or less cluttered. All right, so opening this bad boy up, same thing. We've got our little warranty card. Looks like we've got some nice instructions again and similar, whoop, similar uh, packaging. So it looks like we got some more tools. Man, I really dig that they give us the tools because it's always the worst part. So again, clamps and all this stuff still looking, wow. Yeah, it looks really heavy duty. Definitely is thick plastic, doesn't feel crappy, you know, at all. This feels like some stuff that, it's rugged, baby. It's like our Jeep. And this is all, this is all aluminum. So this looks like cast aluminum that's been coated. And then of course this is milled, uh, milled aluminum, but yeah, this is freaking nice, dude. Heavy duty stuff there. All right, guys, first step is we got to get this little cover off here off the bottom of this grab handle. So I'm going to see, nope. Okay. Yeah. Super simple. So this is plastic. If you had a screwdriver or something, it's fine. So this just simply hangs. So that's cool. Next step is we got to take out the factory hardware, which they give us a tool to do that. So let's see, looks like, where's this guy? Oh wow, he's deep in there. So, wow, okay, not much torque holding it on. So that came right off there. And then what we're gonna do is replace this screw with the one they gave us. All right, so pretty long bolt. They do give us, of course, a new bolt. And so we're gonna install this real slick piece of aluminum they got for us. So yeah, we're not gonna have this cover, so. Oh, okay, so the cover just pops right out. It's just got a little hook right there, so 
yep, pop that out. So save that somewhere in case you ever get rid of this thing, but we're not gonna, we're no longer gonna use it. Wow, this is really a nice piece. Kind of goes in there just looking, looking just like factory. And we're gonna take the hex head tool they give us. So again, I love it when I don't have to go into my toolbox. Might still have to. The only problem is you're gonna have to make a million revolutions with this bad boy because it is too long to, uh, you know, spin all the way around. All right, now grab yourself a T-handle if you got one. This is a five millimeter. Um, just makes it easier. Otherwise, you'll be here all day with the, uh, I mean, the, the tool they provided will work, but this just makes it much, much faster. Now, this is the bottom of your grab handle. So, I mean, it wasn't super tight going in, but this is also metal. So, you know, no chance of really breaking it. So, cool. That part's good to go. All right, so now kind of similar to how our other piece was, we just take this guy, loosen it up, and this is just gonna hook over to this thing and also to our mount. Get it opened up, there we go. Kind of adjust kind of how you want this, where you want this, all that good stuff. All right, so with you guys in the rig here, you can see we got our phone mount, and then we got our little cup holder here. So I just kind of got it adjusted right here right now, which kind of drive like this. So out of my way, plenty of room for turn signals, all that stuff. And then it's adjustable too, so you can fit, and you can fit, you know, any kind of Starbucks your wife wants you to get her, right? Put that bad boy in there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Holds it in there nice and secure. Freaking solid, dude. This is awesome. So, yeah, you'd be able to get your stuff out of there, have a Coke or, you know, can or bottles. Yeah, plenty of room to get it in and out. So, pretty happy with that. And again, these two products, man, they feel like really high quality. You know, they're not just like some cheap garbage. So, especially this one's got carbon fiber on the back. I don't know if it's real carbon, but. Um, also the mount, you know, to be able to put the phone in and stuff feels really, really solid. So pretty stoked. I think this is going to be a great addition to this gladiator. All right, guys, we've only had this gladiator a few weeks. We've already got a bunch of videos of different installs. So make sure to check out those other videos. Check out the whole Jeep life playlist. There's a whole bunch of videos on there from the other Wranglers from this gladiator. So check that stuff out. If there's any other questions, anything else you guys want to see me install, let me know. Drop me a note down in the comments. Make sure to also check the description for links to these products. That stuff really helps the channel. And uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you fellas on the next one.